Australia. Australia's leading big wave maniacs were on a new hunt recently when they took part in the inaugural Original Source Intensive. In this groundbreaking six month digital challenge, 15 of Australia's top slab hunters submitted a monthly video clip of them riding an enormous. In this groundbreaking six month digital challenge, you can check out all the incredible entries at intensesurfchallenge.com. Let's take a look at some of the great waves from the Original Source Intense Surf Challenge. Mollymook Beach local Brett Bircher posted some absolutely beautiful waves which really shows off just how perfect the surf on the New South Wales south coast can get. And Brett also had the dubious honour of posting one of the event's worst wipeouts. Pretty much everything that can go wrong went wrong. Coming into it just didn't set up properly, ended up falling on my chest, slid along on my Gut body surfing for probably three seconds and then just went up, opened the lip. He ended up with a perforated eardrum and blood coming out my nose and yeah, that was by far the worst wipe I've ever had. Anthony Walsh used camera mounted boards to get some incredible footage of big long barrels both at home and overseas. Shots like this are particularly amazing when you realise this is Chopu, one of the world's shallowest and most deadly waves. The biggest and most intense ride was at Chopu. Uh, it was in the Code Red 2011. Later in the day, I decided oh, I just want to get one and waited for hours on my tow board. And then uh, my friend Pedro, Brazilian guy, finally towed me in and uh, got a nuts one, got spat out in the channel. Another surfer who looks right at home at Chopu is Dean Bowen. He is absolutely fearless in big ways. I really do have to say that Dean was unlucky not to get more votes. Some of these waves are just incredible. Jamie Mitchell is one of Australia's most accomplished watermen. He has won the Molokai to Oahu paddleboard race so many times that people have just stopped counting. Jamie is so unbelievably fit and comfortable on long boards that he makes paddling into big waves just look too easy. Kirby Brown posted the most flamboyant bio of the event, and then he backed it up with a string of beautiful homegrown waves from Western Australia. Kirby's best waves were paddled, not towed in, which I've got to say is refreshing to see. Laurie Towner has made a name for himself surfing huge waves in Fiji and Tahiti. But he showed his versatility on this one foot riverbank. I'd have to say my most intense ride would be the wave I caught at Shipstones when I was 19. Um, just because I'd never sort of experienced a wave that big before, that was my first um, real proper wave. And even to this day, I haven't really paddled a bigger wave than that barrel. 